but I always thought that like yo, based on how you live your life, we yeah. don't like you don't do anything. I don't. Hold on, hold on. But I'm gonna tell you why I think you don't. Cause I don't think you would want to answer shit. It's and pointless then, to. It's pointless to answer, bro. Bro. I've been no, selling no, no, no. records, right? And it's not about that either. But I'm just talking about I've been. Hold on. I've been selling records without anyone knowing anything about me. Damn, Ack, if I'm you, I would tell them niggas in the back, shut the fuck up. They said Ack got hair. Yes. By the way, and, and, and also, also, just, just let you know, like, I don't know. This really was just a vlog of me. So, it's so this, this is not this is not an interview. Really. You wouldn't. And by no, the way, damn well I wouldn't. <laughs> it's not because in reality, <laughs> one day I I would want to sit down with you on, yeah, we can do that. on some real shit. But you know what I mean? I but I want you to be comfortable. I'm fine. I knew you my whole career technically. I know, of course, of course. Technically, no. technicality. Like I knew you my whole career. No, so, of course. You, you know what I mean? They went up. I know him from goddamn. The world Chirac. That's what I knew you from. Like, what? I, I don't do that. Yo, I swear to God. <laughs> you probably did, but I was. It's your boy. It's your boy, DJ. Oh, that's okay. Like, that's Yo, like, Uzi, that's but I was covering you doing yeah, no, dumb no, shit no, 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 before no. media was. So I remember. I know, but I remember, like, you gotta stand yeah, bro, I, I, know, I, know, that, I know, I know, I know. You really, you really made it easier for me to understand a different city. I'm from Philly at the end. No, no, you're right. You're right. You made that shit super easy for the world. <laughs> No, he did break it down how Chicago niggas are fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Jack, I, don't get me wrong, but did he used to say the C word even on the YouTube? This one, when YouTube was so less strict. Chad, did he not used to say the C word? Y'all know what C word I'm talking about. He used to be calling them blanks. Did he not? I could have sworn Aggie used to be calling them blanks. <laughs> I could have sworn he did. Chad, I could have sworn he did, bro. <clears throat> Alex, what's up? I thought you went to kick. I am still on kick, Alex. I'm, um... My, we'll talk later, but my contract, you feel me, it's only, it's off hours, it goes off hours, you feel me, but I'm basically balancing it out like how, um, XQC is type shit, if that makes sense. Yeah, he did, yeah, he did, yeah, I got like he did, Chad, I got like it, was, it actually was like, as much hate, as, as much, listen, this is some real shit, as much hate as you got. To put it short, he's scamming, I'm not scamming, it's just like, Chad, if I, <laughs> Chad, is it scamming if I just do my hours that's required? No, nigga. I'm abiding by my contract. No, nigga. That's not scamming. Fuck. Weird. For that, you probably got 50% more on top of the 100. Love on that because you got to understand. You literally broke down some shit that you had to figure out on your own. Now you're right. In a language that we all can understand, no matter if you was black, white, anything. You're right. I, I, I'm not going to lie. You really made it like that was, you right. was ahead of your time with that. That was crazy. Hey, last thing I just want to say. That was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, Chad. You know who else is crazy too that nobody really gives credit for, bro? Say Cheese. Because right after Academics came doing that blogging shit, Say Cheese came right after, nigga. And Say Cheese was the OG of that shit and made that shit boom, nigga. Dead ass. He used to make that shit boom, bro. Say Cheese and Academics are two fucking legends, bro. Sean Cotton, College Kid, and Academics, all three of them. I don't know what Academics beef is with College Kid, but... Whatever, you know what I'm saying? RIP College Kid, too. I ain't gonna lie, RIP College Kid. RIP Zach TV, because Zach TV did some crazy shit, too. You know what I'm saying? And everybody that they interviewed from back then, they used to interview superstars in the making, bro. And it's like it's like they almost knew it. You feel me? They almost knew it, gang. You know? You call it Ak a legend? Bro, Ak is a legend in hip-hop. I'm sorry, like... Truth be told, no rapper cares about other blogs that post them, maybe besides the Shade Room. Then it's academics. That is it. They don't give a fuck about no BET. They don't give a fuck about um, the little famous birthdays blogs. They don't care about the hip-hop blogs, all that shit, bro. Like, bro, strictly academics in the Shade Room. That's all niggas care about. That's a fact. And rappers will only respond to them. That's a fact. That was the young nigga news. <laughs> Yo, last thing I want to say, one time, I promise you, mm -hmm. World Star had its moment, but the owner of World Star passed away. RP to the owner of World Star too. I forgot bro's name. And then I, I believe College Kid had died of COVID. RP to College Kid, and then Zach TV got shot. That shit was crazy. When Zach TV got shot, bro, that's when I really knew, like, yo, being a influencer, you could be targeted. Because, bro, who's like, bro, what? 
And that's why I be feeling, sometimes I be feeling for academics because academics does get his life threatened by artists, rappers, and, and regular other people, bro. But they, they, act moves too smart, but bro, don't think bloggers really can't get touched, bro, because that nigga, um, that nigga Zach TV was a complete innocent, bro. Complete innocent game. Feel me? RP. Yeah, Q. Q was World Star. Yeah. RP. But I, I can't you can't really blame World Star's like downfall because when Q passed, everything changed literally. And feel me? RP Q. Me and like Uzi. <laughs> Yo, chat, who remembers 2017, 2018? Every rapper had their first blow-up song on World Star. And if not, World Star gave them a blow-up moment. That's a fact. Y'all know that's a fact. Nowadays, nobody really give a fuck for World Star no more. Lyrical Lemonade that took the crown. But I go lie, even Lyrical Lemonade is kind of dying out now too, where nobody gives a fuck about Lyrical Lemonade. I don't know who's after Lyrical Lemonade, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know why it was. He got into it back and forth. When? I was so hurt. In the DMs? No, we were going, it was like in the public. I was hurt. What nigga. happened? Tell me, remind me. I'm a, uh, I'm a, I don't lie about shit. It was probably with someone like... I Yo, when was I beefing with academics? No, it was something with Sheezy, like, like, Lake was definitely involved. But, I don't know, what I might have reported. You remember that, Rock? When I was beefing with academics? Me, nah, me it wasn't either. like, it wasn't like beef, beef, because like. What I had said to you? Oh, I think I, I do remember. Do. Ooh, I do remember. You do? <laughs> I kind of do. I think I had, I think I had, um, wrote on your post on your, on your, on your, on your page. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And, and I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you, <laughs> that shit hurt me that that yeah, should hurt my heart because i'm like yo damn how am i gonna deal with a nigga who like <laughs> yo when did x start getting the jewelry this nigga got a cuban out chad a cartier cheese in bracelet cheese in oh my god chad when did i get all this shit bro <laughs> i i genuinely love and i love his music so much but also i gotta do like my job and my thing i'm sorry about that I was a little no, no 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 you don't gotta apologize because sorry about that. hey let me tell you let me tell you why you don't gotta apologize because I'm at the point now too to realize I've tweaked out a bunch. <laughs> no, Ak be tweaking. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. You know what? I I realized that Ak only tweaks on stream, bro. Like, bro, he don't tweak off stream. He don't tweak when he posts. He don't, bro. He be tweaking when he be streaming. He be saying some crazy shit. I ain't gonna lie. Was Ak streams and he picks up the, this bottle right here? So when he streams and he picks up this bottle right here, it's never a good sign. I'm telling you, Chad, it's never a good sign. Or the Henny. Or this one right here, Chad. Hold on. Chad, or this one right here. If Ad picks this up while he's streaming, Chad, it's raps. <laughs> it's raps. Some artist is getting disrespected. He going to say some shit he doesn't mean. He going to say some shit he's not supposed to say. You know what I'm saying? They just, they just start like, oh, yeah, by the way, Chad. I just want to let you know, I just got off the phone with Cardi the other day. <laughs> like, the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he just started saying anything. Just started, just started saying shit. Oh, yeah. By the way, Chad, 1629, yeah, that shit's never dropping. <laughs> it's never dropping. <laughs> like, he just started saying shit. Oh, bro. Chad, I'm lying. <laughs> Link Machine, he just started saying shit. <laughs> That's why I'm glad me and you can have comments. Are you excited for 6ix9ine's song tomorrow? No. I ain't gonna lie, Alex. No. But I'm gonna be honest, though, Alex. You know the type of person I am. I don't give a fuck about the snitching shit. I'm gonna listen to it, obviously, because I'm gonna be tuned in. But I don't look at... 6ix9ine six, six was never a great artist to me. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. The type of people I listen to, bro, I like listening to people who really make quality music. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? 6 9 don't make quality music, so regardless if he snitched or not, it, it, it's not going to affect me. You know what I'm saying? Gunna, quote-unquote, snitch to the community. Nigga, Gunna makes quality music, nigga. I'm bumping, fuck you mean. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you just lied? I don't lie. Who has substance? Chat, y'all know the music I listen to, listen to, bro. Like, I don't know why y'all niggas trying to sit here and press me right now. You feel me? Y'all niggas know who I listen to. I listen to Young Boy, Tory Lanez, Lil Durk. Uh, Pooh Shiesty, um, hmm, Stunner Gambino, A Boogie, um, Gunna, I ain't gonna lie, bro, bro, everybody who I said, yes, Pooh Shiesty, sorry, I ain't gonna lie, y'all like stripping. Melly, Melly's hard too, yes, Drake, 6 9 is not, bro, 6 9 is not an artist that you can listen to and be like, Oh, yeah, I have to listen to him. Like, nah, he's not one of those. 
like he's not. Does that make sense? By the way, Alex, I don't know if I thanked you already, but I just want to thank you again for putting me on to Ruler 2. That was that project is just fucking beautiful. Thank you. You chat and play the video. Back to the video, yeah, facts. Conversations, because me and you have con had conversations about like, your act. This, that, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Chill. Cool. Whatever. But early on, when Ooh. nobody, everybody think their, their their voice ain't being heard, mm -hmm. nigga, I tweaked out a bunch of stuff. So you'll, you'll never got to apologize. You know what I mean? Nigga, we live life. Nigga, we sitting here and. and, and, and nigga. I'm at, I'm just saying, though, I got Nigga, yo, yo, yo. I told these motherfuckers coming over here. I said, yo, when I saw this nigga Uzi perform, he was at Terminal 5. Yeah, I promise that? you, nigga, I promise you you could do the garden. You know you can do the garden. I'm still doing the same shit, too. Now, listen, I'm still, today, I performed, like, remember that? Remember that day when you was there? I performed a song that never came out. Yeah. No, I'm still 1600. And I still remember that. Nigga, I know. And the same Damn, today, crazy. I performed the motherfucking song that I made last night. <laughs> Hold on. But you're, you're the biggest now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nigga, you wouldn't do Terminal 5 again. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Uzi's a legend, man. I'm so nasty, I will do Terminal 5 again, but you know what's crazy? Nah, I'll... you'd have to do Terminal 5 three weeks in a row. And that's man. fire, but listen, a Terminal 5 show still would be turnt way more than a big ass show. And I and I, and I miss those days. That's what's crazy, because I, I be thinking about shit, like, don't get me wrong. Sh shows be lit, I be turnt and all that, like it is what it is. But like, I miss those little shows. Those little shows was like personal and like crazy. 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 Yo, what make you happy these days? What makes me happy? Yeah. I agree. Uzi's a legend for sure. Not a question. The most thing that probably make me happy in real life though, probably like not even on no funny shit or not even on no weird shit, like being able to like being able to just do whatever like not do whatever I want, but being able to like have consistency in anything that I do and not just consistency in music like that's like the easiest like and I don't even have consistency in music but like <laughs> we, we, we gotta work on that we, we gotta like, work we get that cause I got, but yo Uzi five you know what make me happy it. you know what make me happy motherfuckers be over here crying about me making music man I just wanna go to Top Golf dog and be drunk at Top Golf I just wanna go that's what I'm saying I just wanna go to Top Golf but Booby where we went yes where we went the other day Top Golf we're at Top Golf. Then when we went to Top Golf, we had Top Golf. Bowling. Bowling. Like I just want to have fun. <laughs> like that's what I'm saying, Miss Bro. Come Nigga, on. I don't bro. like what you said because, like, yo, yo, there be a whole world. Motherfuckers think it's a whole they're, world. They're harassing you for music, nigga. Nah, them same niggas harassing <laughs> your music. They nah, they is harassing the shit out of Uzi for music. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm niggas. <laughs> Yo, chat, type one if you're niggas. <laughs> Drop forever young, goofy goober. <laughs> I think I'm sleeping in a motherfucking a fucking coffin every night. They do, they do, they do. They do I got a big ass bed. <laughs> Rick Owens bed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Damn, it's, it's, uh, technically, it's a coffin. <laughs> nah, technically, it's a coffin. It's a expensive Uzi, coffin. Uh, uh, 100,000 100, over. And when you say over, super over coughing, but shit, like, motherfuckers think, like, I don't know what the hell they think about me, man. They think about me so much, I can't even yo, imagine or fathom to think about Uzi. them. No, yo, I told this nigga, I'm like, yo, so this nigga shows up to, yo, I ain't even gonna lie to you, mm -hmm. it's my first time they put me on a festival. They say, yo, come do a... Why the fuck, yo, he was at Roots Picnic. <laughs> yo, they have me at Roots Picnic. Yo, I'm <laughs> on the video. Yo, I showed up. Yo, chat. I saw that clip, too. Chat, y'all see that clip of Academic showing up to, for a blog podcast and nobody was there? Nobody was there. I ain't gonna lie. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> but hold on, no, chat. I don't blame Ag all the way because nobody knew about that shit. He didn't promote that shit. <laughs> he didn't announce that shit. But I just know that they're going to haunt him for that. Like, any nigga who beats with academics, I know that they're going to haunt him for that. But it's not Ag's fault, bro. They did him dirty. <laughs> This, I don't know if you listen to the video. Your music is playing. The, you're on stage. And they're asking you uh, all these questions and shit. And you're just like, oh, my God. I just watched this shit. Nigga. I want to I be watching you. I, I don't know why you did that. Yo, 
I'm, for one moment, you should have been a nigga oh, at that I'm moment and know. walked the fuck off and came over there. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, because because yo, they picked it. Like I know, yeah, yeah. You ain't I know, not, I know. I know you got the bag bag, but they but gave they me yeah, they, they gave me my little bag. They're like, yo, <laughs> hey, come do this, nigga. I ain't even know. I'm like, oh shit, like, yo, you, you don't be thinking about that type of shit with pet. What we, what we, you too big at this point? What do you mean? Like with a festival, like like say rolling live, right? Yeah. Like like not roots picnic rolling live. Yeah. Bro, you're probably like headlining. So? You don't have to care. Not anymore, according to Miles, but he should be headlining. In my opinion, he can headline still. Care about it. It's not about caring, though. You just make it like fences, right? If I didn't give a fuck, right? I care more than I ever cared in my life. Because, like, I actually, like... I always paid attention. But... I'm, like when you don't pick one back back then, right? Imagine I'm paying attention, right? I'm paying attention to everybody, and I like really don't like. I don't give a fuck. It's like when you don't give a fuck, it's something that's really pressing against your heart that make you don't give a fuck, which means you really give a fuck. Like, you get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Like it's really something that's if you want to take you it like that new casa, bro. Yeah, I know. It's one of oh, Jerome just came here. I'm tweaking. Tell Jerome bring up a casa. My bad. My bad. It's on the way. My bad. Um, <laughs> this nigga act is an alcoholic. That's the only thing. <laughs> I didn't say he shouldn't. Just he's not. But I ain't gonna lie. But Miles, this is the shit. This is the little pieces of details that I be trying to explain to you, though, Miles. If you want to join up in the call, but like. Bro, I was trying to explain it like, bro, even Uzi doing this little vlog with, with Act, bro, like, you, it should really show you that Uzi showing his face more and he really don't give a fuck on some shit. Like, he's just more so, like, having fun, you feel me? Cardi would never do this shit. I'm sorry, bro. Cardi would never do this shit. He's not sitting here in front of academics doing all this shit. He's not doing this shit. I'm telling you the truth. You feel me? Real shit. Like, you can tell that Uzi's in a, he's, he's not in a retirement standpoint, but he's in a standpoint where he wants to enjoy himself. You feel me? Like... For you, a I, motherfucker, I drink, I drink, I, a motherfucker I drink, that a mother always remember that act. A motherfucker that really don't give a fuck, really gives a fuck. <laughs> it's something on their heart that's damaging their soul that make them say that they not give a fuck. Get around, think for the the oh. Exactly, it's okay. They try to protect their energy because yeah, exactly. They try to protect their energy and they gave a fuck before someone hurt them, and now they try to they try to hide it. The, the money. So if I was to put out a trash album or a good album, it would make the same amount of money. But sorry, brother. Listen, Uzi, I love you to death. You're a legendary artist. You're in a, you are amazing. You know what I'm saying? But Pink Tape was so trash for an Uzi album. It wasn't just trash like it's in this shit is completely dirt. It was just trash for an Uzi album. That's it. <clears throat> it's deeper than the money at this point. I made the money. Nigga, you're him. It's deeper, exactly. Him. It's, it's deeper than the money, bro. Like deeper than the money. Like why, why? Like how many times you gonna care about the money? Like you can always care about the money, but hey, you, you when to be people tell me to talk about you, uh -huh. the conversations is not is Uzi whatever, whatever. It's 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 a it's a very select conversation. Uh -huh. Is Uzi still him? What is him? The most influential nigga in the culture. Yeah. The most talented nigga who's dropping songs that is just fucking... I'm still trying shit. That's why. It's not even about the music being all the way 100% good. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm still trying. I'm I, trying. I, I, I never stop trying. Even when y'all think I'm not doing shit, I'm trying shit behind the scenes. Until it sounds good enough for me to present it to y'all. I'm trying. I've been trying the whole time. I've never not been trying. I tell you, it don't like a, a scientist don't go overnight like high like on the movies. It took Robert Williams to make Flubber the whole damn movie. It took him the whole movie to make it right. You know, a movie two hours, but a movie is really like a a, a year in a two in two hours. It took yeah. him the whole movie to make Flubber to be right. Flubber wasn't right. He's putting that shit on motherfuckers' basketball shoes and shit. It was flying in the air. It wasn't right until the end. Dark thank you for research. And it still wasn't right. He had to adapt to it. Hey, Facts. I'll be honest. Did you hear the three new Uzi snippets that leaked from his next album? It's on Bob Lamb two page on Insta. No, I didn't. I honestly be thinking that the pressure gets to you at times. Mm -mm. It will always get to you though. It's no pressure when you experience. It is pressure though. It's no pressure when my nigga is pressure. 
Yeah, there is pressure. Come on. Come on, Uzi. There's pressure. When niggas are saying, yo, Uzi will never have an EXO tour life again and another, you know what I'm saying? There's pressure, it's gang. The greatest shit from you. And that's on them. Because guess what? My nigga, you're a little Uzi Vert, my nigga. They expect you to be... Nigga, it, Juice World's past. It's right. you. That's it. Yeah. Nigga, it's you. There is no comparison. Cardi got his lane, but it's yeah, just Cardi, you. Cardi do his thing. Yeah. It's Cardi, then it's you. So they all look at well, you and say... Cardi, I think Cardi kind of like... He kind of like... Cardi made that lane like... 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 Cardi made that lane... Yo, Cardi's so good at that shit, nobody else can do it. Uh, it's it's not being real. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like he closed it. Yes. So, so, so all these artists, including you, Uzi, because it kind of looked like you... Ah, stop, gang. Stop. 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 Like, 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 that's that road. That's his personal road to his personal mansion. Like, nobody can go down that road because if they try, it's just like... I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's amazing how he did that. But in reality, <laughs> here's the thing, though. Say it. Everybody knows <gasps> it's you and Cardi. That's a fact. <laughs> Nigga, I've talked to your peers. I, I won't name names. Because no, I fuck okay. with these. Yeah. Your own peers, niggas who is when I mean peers, we're not talking about just niggas in the, like they know Cardi, you. Yeah. It's really y'all. And in the sense of okay, Cardi do his thing. But we learned so much from each other. And like and this is it's not, not, it's not even putting us at, yeah, against each other. It's like everybody's looking at both of y'all. And, and and it gotta be listen. You they know, could never put. Look, I'm gonna tell you something too before you finish. Go ahead. No one could never put a person like that's like you putting a person from my block, like a guy from 1600, against me, or like, like, like not even against me. That's like you putting a person like trying trying to compare a person from me and my block. Like we have similarities because we grew up together, but right. and we we might wear the same clothes. We might talk the same. We might say the same things. We might say the same things in songs. We might use the same ad libs. But we are two different people at the end of the day. And we all, that's why me and him was always like, bro, to this day, like, you don't understand. Like, don't you see, like, when all these guys be like, especially rappers, because being a rapper is a competitive sport. Really? And it's not even a sport. We're not, like, we're the bare minimum of athletic. Every rapper, even if they think they're good, they're still the bare minimum of a man's athletic. Nah, I think I think you're a little athletic. I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, a I little bit, but like I'm not athletic. And nah, I know, I know. You know what I mean? Like a little bit. I'm definitely athletic. But let me explain something to you. Like, imagine being around like like just as much as Cardi was around me, I was around him. And right. what I mean is, this shit is a fifty-fifty thing, which makes a hundred percent. It's a reason why people to this day, right, what? talk about me and my me and my brother. It's the reason why, like, we've been around longer. Like, come on, bro, don't get me wrong. It's other motherfuckers that was out, like, like for instance, right? Like, I don't even talk to the goddamn loyalty every day, but I commend him for everything that he do, like for his artistry, for his, his writing and lyrical ability. His beat making ability, his things that he put on a song, like like he he does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. His ability, his ability to still be around and be himself, because I knew him from the beginning. Like like we used to we used to hang out all the time. Like my first house in Atlanta when I first like start like remember I told you I live with Cannon. <laughs> yeah. My first house was so small. My first house was probably like. 1100 a month, but it was so small though. Yeah, damn, it was so small though. It wasn't even big, it was just a great area to be in. It was like the perfect area. It wasn't even nice, it wasn't even nice. Like 1100 a month, it wasn't even nice. It wasn't even that fire. What year is this? 2000, <laughs> almost going into. Almost going into 2017. Swear. Okay, okay, okay. Swear. I, before Swear. the before the avalanche happened. Yes. I, 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 I'm thinking. Yes. I'm always thinking the avalanche. No. Okay, cool. Me and like me and Yadi <laughs> like me and Yadi used to be together all the time. Like, I can remember something that he don't remember. I remember the first time I saw him in person. He was in a mall 
in Linux Mall, and I was in Linux Mall, and I was going up on the elevator. I'm not the elevator, the escalator. And I already kind of had like a name, and it was by the food court area. And I remember there was a bunch of them. And y'all met in Linux? We didn't meet, but I, it's so crazy because like I was just playing it cool. Going up, I was with Cannon, and we was going up the, es yeah. the escalator. And I remember he was in the food court with all his friends. And I can remember the first time like they was looking at me. They knew it was me and shit because I, like I was kind of like like I was getting there and shit. I remember when y'all like when Yadi used to first pull up on me. So it's just like Yadi is like, and like you gotta respect it because like he even with the shit he doing now, like. It's it's kind of like it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna be honest. With you. It's kind of it crazy. crazy. Like it's kind of it's kind of crazy. You, you're my opinion on it. With, 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 listen, you know, you know. Say, in the chat, right? No, no. I'm reading the chat, nigga, but I'm also listening, nigga. What? The mosh pitting trend. Cardi started that wave. Then Travis hopped on it. Then Uzi. I mean, bro. I don't. Bro, listen. This is the one thing I'm gonna say, bro. Like, what's good, Jake? What's good, my nigga? I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all, bro. Bro. Mosh pitting are only for kids. Mosh pitting are only for teenagers. I got like, I even feel like niggas who listen to Cardi don't pass the age limit of like 24. I'm going to be honest. That's just me personally. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. And if they do, I mean, they do. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. But, you know, just personally, you feel me? Nobody who's above the age of 21 is hopping in a mosh pit. If you are, they can get a job. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'll give you my opinion. And I'll, and I'll love you it. Say it. Let me tell you this. I've thought this has been a two-horse race when it came to, quote-unquote, SoundCloud era. No disrespect. Now, he the a, he a, he a, he a, he a sneaky knight in it, though. Suki? Suki what? Suki hopping in a mosh pit? Like, I've never seen Silky hop in the mosh pit. You're right. He's the sneaky I knight. I agree. You know what I mean? Me and Cardi is like the fucking... The I fucking, thought it was just you and Cardi. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I know this, though. I study this shit. He's the sneaky knight. He's be, the one... Hold on. Me and Cardi... Listen. Me and Cardi is doing all this shit. Cardi is being influential, selling all these shows, going across the world, doing the biggest shit in the world. Me, I'm fucking making these big-ass hit songs. And there's a nigga like him. That motherfucking... Is really one of the ones on the low. I'm just being real. Like I'm just being a hundred. You can't even lie about it. Like no, no, he is. Yes. Hold on. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> so, and, and and me and Yadi, like we we've talked about. So Yadi's a great human being. He's cool as shit. I like to say he's a great human being. He cool. see, I'm not though. Mm. That's the thing. What do you mean? I'm an asshole. Everyone knows that too. I think that uh, I'm a real asshole. And he knows that. And he's like, he's, God, he's a nice guy. He's nice as shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Anytime I be an asshole, he, he's, he's smart as shit. And he like, he definitely <laughs> with you because he's definitely like a It troll. used to be just both y'all though. He's, like, like, he's definitely a troll. Like, he's definitely not, he's definitely on point. Like, he's definitely a troll. He knows everything that's going on. But I'm an asshole, so like. Why? Actually, I'm not an asshole. I know you're not an asshole. <laughs> I used to be. So people still judge me off of like. You Why know, you say you used to be? I want this. Why would you be an asshole, though? Mm -hmm, I was high. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 said, yeah, no, I was high. This is what I said. I said, anytime <laughs> I tell you, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to, like, I'm not saying, like, d like Yachty, but I'll talk to someone and be like, hey, what's up? How's your day? And they'll yeah. be like, nigga, you being smart. And I'm like, nigga, I really ask you, how's your day? But, like, it's definitely like, <laughs> <What>? you understand. <laughs> how long have he been, how long have he, have he been around? Who? Yachty. Yachty? I know a long time. That's what I'm trying to tell you, and he still ain't even going nowhere. Facts. He's definitely a nigga that beat the, the like, washed the allegations. Washed allegations. Yep. Oh, no, no, he did He did. beat the shit out of it. Yo, he did. On his hold own on. way. Yeah, this is, hold on. This is why, by the way, everybody believes I still want to get you, I just want to get you on my podcast to he ask beat you it. these questions. I got you. Because I actually think, and I love Yachty, like, let me tell you this. There's been moments, and I learned this as a blogger. If I report right now, yo, little Uzi got arrested. He did this, whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. It might be the weakest or the lowest moment for you, but everybody's coming to my blog. For sure. What I learned is that <laughs> when you have a name, include me. 
it's the same thing that happens to you. Mm -hmm. So I've had low moments too. We all have. And yep. when I have those low moments when everybody's Everybody has. I ain't gonna lie, everybody has. Including myself. I ain't gonna lie, chat. There'll be times where niggas be telling me. There'll be times niggas telling me I fell off. You feel me? I get fall off comments every year. And then every year I always have the rightful people in my ear who tells me, nigga, you still here. Like, nigga, you are still here. Like, you're in the top which one percent. Feel me? You're you're still next to the big names. You're in the top five, actually. Top six, top ten. You're still here. You feel me? So I can lie, it's just a moment that everybody has, I feel like, as a creator in general. Like YouTube, Twitch, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Niggas remind you, bro, like you still here. And it's not even just about you being a celebrity, it's just the fact that you're still here. Like, yo, chat, think about everybody who who I done grew up with or how many people I done came up with as a creator or how many people y'all see me grow with and et cetera and shit like that from the 2K days, from 2K 16, 17 to current day, you feel me? Like, nigga, it's not a lot of niggas who made it out, gang. I'm still here. That's real shit. You feel me? Right or right, or right though, chat. I'm not even going to say no names because I ain't going to lie. I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> there was a time frame where I did, I definitely, definitely 100% had an ego and I was popping my shit. You feel me? And if you really know what knowing, you really get to, you really knew that my time frame was there. But I only had that time frame because I felt like in a 2K community, bro, I was the only nigga who, first off, I was, a lot of niggas and creators just didn't like me. That's the first thing for whatever reason. For two, nigga, like if you really know me, gang, I really did the shit by myself. And, and truth be told, still to this day, I do shit by myself. You feel me? A lot of people, when they stream, like, they always have, like, friends or people in Discord calls or whatever. Like, bro, when I mean I'm an independent creator or I'm a solo creator, I'm really a solo creator, gang. Like, you feel me? Nigga, when I was streaming 2K and shit, bro, I mean, other than Nate, obviously, other than Nate, shout out to Nate, <clears throat> other than Nate, Nate was the only creator who I kind of partnered with, but bro, after Nate 2K17, I stopped playing with Nate, nigga. Ever since 2K17, nigga, I was strictly independent, gang, nigga, like, I'm over here playing with Smurf, playing with, with Key, playing with my niggas, having fun on the shit, you feel me? And... I'm going to be honest with you, still to this day, like, I really feel like I'm an independent creator having fun on this shit, you know? Um, a lot of creators to this day, like, they'll, I wouldn't want to say they ask for help or whatever the case may be, because their content is their content. I'm never going to disrespect their content, but they'll always be in, like, Discord calls, you know what I'm saying? Maybe cameras on, just, just getting it like a, I wouldn't, like I say, a sense or whatever, but... I've always just been independent, and it's not because I don't want to participate in those activities, you feel me, but it's more so the fact that I've always been just by myself, like a loner on some shit, you feel me, so. Take it like, fuck, act, whatever, whatever. It's a few niggas who ever, one is 21 Savage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, chat, think about everybody from the 2K community as creator, bro, and then think about everybody who made it out. Like, that's like... Bro, the amount of the percentage of niggas who made it out, bro, is probably one percent. Right or right though, chat, it's probably one percent. Think about all the creators you could think of from the history of time that you just thought was you feel me. It's probably like a nice one percent that made it out, gang. And really, when what I mean made it out, I mean like really, really made it out. You feel me? Like real shit. <clears throat> nah, like twenty percent. Hell no. Nah. Like, you know how many creators there was, bro? Nigga, there was No Limit Sean's. There was the, um, uh, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. There was, there was a nigga I used to, um, jail the Don. Y'all remember jail the Don? Nigga, there was like, bro, there was a lot of creators in the 2K field, bro. Y'all tweaking. Y'all tweaking. There was a lot, there was loads of niggas, gang. Y'all tweaking. Um, bro. Yup, pretty boy Ryan, yup. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of people, bro. Shit, like, you feel me? Y'all y'all tweaking, bro. There's a lot of people, gang. Out of everybody who made it out, truth be told, bro, I'm gonna just keep it on with you, is AMP, Nation, 
and shit, Nate X, um, Solo Minotti, Fredo, Los. That's about it. I can tell from the top of my head. Shit, and Bruce. I mean, yeah, Bruce, yeah. Shit, crazy when you think about it. Right, X. But X, that's why I be having to remind you, though, X, because... And me and X, <clears throat> we be having this conversation off stream too. But X, I be telling you sometimes because sometimes I can see the, the mannerisms in you sometimes where you feel a little bit unmotivated and demotivated. And I be having to like kind of remind you like, bro, X, bro, you are a huge creator, bro. You got to stop that shit. Like, <clears throat> bro, I'm telling you the truth, bro. X, you may not see it, but out of everybody who left Fortnite, bro. Bro, you're in that 1% of niggas who made it out too. I'm telling you the truth. Bro, think out, look out, bro. If you look at how many Fortnite creators who are not here today, I'm telling you, X, like, look at how many Fortnite creators who are not here today, bro. You gotta really take pride in that shit. Like, really understand that. You feel me? Like, it really hit different when you realize that a lot of Fortnite niggas is really not here, gang. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> It really hit different when you. Chat. Y'all look at X's name and tell me what's wrong with it. Wow. I said, wow. <laughs> it's cool, X. It's cool, bro. It's cool. It's cool, bro. It's not like I'm hurt or anything. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway. Nah, but that's what I was saying, bro. Like, bro, X, really take pride in that shit, though, bro. That ass, bro. Like, yo, Polo, thank you. <laughs> Polo, thank you for the gifted. W Polo, chat. But, um, really take pride in that shit, bro, because there's a lot of creators from Fortnite who's really not here. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of creators from 2K who's really not here. You feel me? So, you really just gotta take pride in the shit. And really just understand who you are as a creator. And just understand that this Twitch shit is really a mind game. And that it really takes a lot to really stay on. You know what I'm saying? It really takes a lot to pull in a certain amount of viewers every day. It really takes a lot. And that's why I be trying to tell niggas all the time, bro. Like, I really, ex I really respect people's grind on Twitch, bro. Because niggas don't understand how hard it is to pull viewers on Twitch. And I feel that shit because, bro... I was there when Twitch was just transferred over from Justin TV. Yes, I'm that old gang. You see what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie. Even from, from then to now, bro, I can see the progression. Nigga, I remember when people were streaming on PlayStation 5 with the little one mic in their ear. And you could hear the whole kitchen. You could hear them the sticks moving and shit when niggas is playing the game. And they used to be doing 200 views. Nowadays, you stream off the console, nigga, ain't nobody watching, nigga. You gotta have a PC. You see what I'm saying? Like, real shit. Y'all remember that shit? Like... Real shit. Not, not the PS5, the PS4. Yeah, yeah, my fault. PS4, PS4. You see what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> y'all gotta understand the shit is really advanced on some shit. And Twitch is leveling leveling up every year, bro. And it's becoming more advanced every year. Like, nigga, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep it 100. When COVID came around, Aiden Ross turned that shit up with E-Dates and he turned it up a notch. After Aiden turned it up a notch, I ain't gonna lie. Kai Sinat came around. He turned the bitch up and he raised the bar higher. And the bar is going to get higher every two to three years. It's generational. Don't get me. There's going to be a creator that's going to come out here within the next two, three years and probably do some shit that's more extravagant than Kai. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand it's really about dedication. Yes, yeah, speed too. Yes, yeah, speed too. It's really about dedication in this shit, pride in this shit, and just keeping up with the waves. You feel me? Keeping up with the, with the waves and keeping up with the process. And I ain't going to lie, it's really hard on certain creators because... 
certain creators really don't want to. It, it it really takes away from creators on some shit because certain creators really don't want to follow the trends and follow the wave. Certain creators really just want to hop on Twitch and just game. But people don't understand that Twitch is not just gaming anymore, bro. The most popular thing is just chatting. And I'm going to be honest with you, anybody, and when I say anybody, I mean anybody who switches from just chatting to gaming is going to lose viewers. It's just what it is. Be prepared. It's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And that should let y'all know how high the bar has been risen. You feel me? Like, real shit. Yachty always called me like, yo, listen, I know they all getting at you. And I ain't gonna lie, you be on some fuck shit. He don't, he don't be on some shit like, I know what like, you mean. Gaming is over. Gaming's not over. It's just... Gaming's not over. Gaming will never be over. <clears throat> it's just... Stale. That's the word for it. Stale. Because I'll tell you right now, once GTA 6 is out, all these shits are going to crash and tumble. Nobody's going to give a fuck about just chatting when GTA 6 drops. But it's probably going to be for the month. The thing is, with, with games, is a seasonal thing. Let's put it that way. Games is a seasonal thing. 2K has its season. You feel me? Call of Duty has its season. You feel me? Every It's a seasonal thing. You know? But I was just trying to make sure you're good. Yeah. Plateau the word? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Plateau. What do you mean? Plateau? Yeah, plateau. And I always took that as something. So I thought... Because that, you gotta understand that you like... As much as, as much as many people... Me too. GTA is the only game that's year-round. That is a fact. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Some people tell me that Fortnite's still popular, but every time I go over there, I don't see it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of agree. GTA is the only game that's year round. I'm gonna be honest, but even still, like I tell everybody all the time, like well, if you nice. wanna, if you wanna like explore as a as a as a creator on Twitch, bro, it's really like you really gotta tap into every field. You feel me? And <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest. I thank the people who said I fell off when I quit 2K. Because if I didn't quit 2K to go to Fortnite, nigga, I would have never got the community that I had. Because I'm going to be honest with you. And this is one thing that I was telling people, and this is the sad truth. And, and this is one thing that I also want to explain to the people in the 2K community. Because this is actually real shit. And really pay attention to what I'm trying to tell you. You feel me? And I don't mean to bash the 2K community because I'm forever grateful for, for what they did. And I'm forever will forever love the 2K community for what they did. But the 2K community has this pride and ego, even as viewers, to where they just don't sub. They don't sub. You can have a thousand viewers on 2K. It's not going to mean shit to them. They will not sub for shit. You know what I'm saying? They will never subscribe to your stream. I'm, I'm just telling you the truth. All 2K streamers who stream and shit, bro... They can all pull in tons of views, whatever the case may be. 2K's viewership, they do not fucking subscribe for shit. They don't give a fuck. Like, I'm telling you the truth, they don't. And, hold on. Ugh. Hold on, Tap. This is the thing too. Cause I, I'm trying to get my message. You can't hood gaming, nah. I ain't gonna lie, like even for my OG supporters and shit, who be telling me to go back to 2K, I can't. I can't go back to 2K. I cannot. I would never. The community, for one, the community just don't support it. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing, chat, is that when I went, how the fuck you swallow pills so easily? I mean, I've been, I had to take medication for the rest, for the, for the, for the rest of my life, gang. So I mean, I've been swallowing pills since I was a kid. But um, once I switched from 2K to Fortnite, gang. 
my viewership went from like 2,000 to 300 and chat, you'll be surprised from what I'm about to tell you. I was making more money at 300 views than I was at 2,000 views. Why? People were subbing. Bro, the Fortnite community... Nah, it's not even just creator code. No, creator code made me a bag too, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yo, every game used to have a creator code, bro. Yo, I got like creator code used to do something. I swear. I ain't gonna lie. That creator code is crazy. But um The reason being, bro, is because bro, that Fortnite community during that time frame, bro, bro, that Fortnite community was showing so much support. They would gift. They would sub. They would support, bro. Heavy, hard. And don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful for what I have and I'm very thankful for what I have. And I've never been that type of streamer who would like to like beg niggas to sub or beg niggas to gift. But as a creator, and you know you're trying to make this shit a job, it hurts from your own community when you realize that you're putting in so many hours, you're putting in so much pain, and people aren't subbing. That shit hurts, gang. You feel me? And you ask any creator... Because, feel me, we don't get paid by the hour like Kick does. You feel me? On Twitch, you get paid by the sub. So these hours mean nothing. Do you see what I'm saying? So it really hurts as a creator. You can ask any creator. When you really put in eight hours of stream every day, you really put in 12 hours of stream every day, six hours of stream every day. You're streaming every day, grinding, grinding, grinding. Yes, don't get me wrong, ads may help, but ads is not a main source of income. Everybody's going to tell you it's subscriptions. You feel me? So it really hurts, especially during that time frame, because there was no such thing as ad incentive. There was no such thing. As, you feel me? I'm telling you the truth. There was, all that shit was not there. At that time frame, nigga, Prime just got introduced. Axe niggas. You feel me? So with that being said, like, my Fortnite community at the time, gang, once I started growing in there and I was streaming every day more, I had like 5,000, I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers. That's probably the most I've had in any community. Not even just chatting, I got that. You know what I'm saying? Unless I did a fucking subathon or something. 4,000, 5,000 subscribers in the Fortnite community. And that's just because they were just showing strictly love. You feel me? Like, strictly love and support. Like, I feel like a lot of people don't understand. Like, when you subscribe to a streamer, it's just to show support. It's not really... I mean, emotes is cool, too. Don't get me wrong. Emotes is fire as fuck and no ads. But it's really just to show support. And that's just something that the 2K community just doesn't have. It just doesn't have that. It does just no support. And... Um... What was I about to say? The Fortnite community just just didn't... It just, it just shows so much love. And it's really sad how I had 300 views at the time in Fortnite... Coming up as a creator and having so much subscribers and making so much money than what I was in the 2K community. And then also when I came up there in the Fortnite community, I also knew I was here to stay. Like I was 100% here to stay. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't speak on this either. But it's, it's, it's starting to the point where we're taking over now. But black creators in that time frame too were 100% blackballed. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Like if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? We're not really blackballed anymore, but everybody knows. But it was very hard for black african-american creators to come up and still to this day i think it, it it is but not for men i feel like majority women you feel me i feel like african-american women really have it hard on twitch you know what i'm saying and people don't like to speak on it because people don't really <clears throat> really want to talk about it but for me i ain't gonna lie african-american women really have it hard on twitch but i always try to show love and support when i can you see what i'm saying and that's why I tell people all the time, bro, like, really value what you have. You know what I'm saying? Because don't, I know so many people who even, or who even I came up with and they just, they hit me up and just be like, bro, I took shit for granted, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, I took the streaming shit for granted, bro. Y'all niggas is going crazy, bro. I took the shit for granted. And even though it might not be too late. Some in some cases, sometimes they feel like it is due to age or just life problems or whatever the case may be. That's why I be trying to get on everybody's ass so hard. Like I be on Tay's ass. Like, yo, Tay, bro, you don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Like, just certain people, I would just have to just try to remind them. You know what I'm saying? Like, certain people just really don't even know. Like, 
<clears throat> Aiden opened the door for black creators. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely, I agree. Because Aiden was the first person to put us on this platform and make us be unfiltered. He was the first person to put us on, on this platform and made us niggas still act like niggas. Like, he ain't really care. Feel me? And I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't, I, I'm not gonna sit here and just fully put him at 100% because he ain't 100% do it. You feel me? Like, first person to really kind of put us on, I would say was Flight. You feel me? Flight started going crazy first. The Flight started having that crazy run and started going cool. You see what I'm saying? Flight was on some shit back then. Hell, June flight? Yeah, June flight was dangerous. I don't know. <laughs> Erica, too? Yes, but... Erica wasn't, like, a nigga. Like, he was, but you know what I mean when I say that, though. Like, you feel me? Like... <laughs> RP, RP for show. For show. RP for show, bro. And I ain't gonna lie. Is that our prime ZS and B Lou? Yeah, but they not stream, but we know what you mean? Yeah, I hope you know what I mean. I don't want people to take offense to that. Like, nah, I for sure fuck with Attica. But I still doesn't get the credit he deserves. Nah, he does, for sure. But Tyson's just on some laid back shit now. Like Tyson don't give a fuck. He's retired. He definitely retired. He came up off his NFT project and went ghost. Man, that pandemic era really changed lives. It did. Mm. <laughs> you want to bite your hat? Here you go. They are. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, yum yum, pizza. Mmm, oh my god, yum yum, pizza. Mmm, oh my god, yum yum. I'm sorry, Chad. <laughs> 26, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, bro. We'll take part in shit. And for all the, um, like. <laughs> For all the creators, man, really expand your content, bro, on some shit, you know? Don't be one-dimensional. Don't let the chat direct your content. I ain't gonna lie. If you let that people do that, bro, it's gonna affect your brain because I ain't gonna lie. It affected me, gang, 100%. You know, it affected me. When niggas used to tell me, yo, why you not on 2K? You fell off. Damn, no more 2K? Don't get discouraged. Whenever, like I said, <clears throat> especially in the time frame that we're at now, anytime you play a game, your viewership's gonna drop. Whether you hop on Call of Duty, Fortnite, 2K, GTA, it don't matter what game you play. If I was to play a game right now, a lot of niggas would leave. You know what I'm saying? It's just, gaming is very stale right now, but you should still, you know what I'm saying? Like, express your content, you feel me? June Flight had the whole internet in a chokehold. Oh, no, he did. Bro, there was a time where Flight, bro, Flight sparked up a stream on 2K and pulled 100,000 views. On 2K, this is not even just chatting, nothing. This is strictly 2K game. Hopped on 2K, 100,000 views. Strictly, off the, off the rip. On 2K. It's never never before seen. Never before done. Nobody will do that unless the game is coming out. Still to this day, I don't think nobody will do that shit. As much as many people hate you, it could be a bunch of nobodies that hate you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not calling... Nobody's nobodies because nobodies be the ones with the biggest opinions. <laughs> but it'd be a bunch of nobodies that hate you, and it'd be the people that matter that really love you. And you but, always got to take that in consideration because mm -hmm. the people that matter is the reason that they matter. And it's a reason why they love you because they know that you matter. It was a learning experience for me. Facts. Because <laughs> when you're a blogger, I'm like, yo, all right, cool. Oh, we got this story about Uzi? I'll just set his entire world ablaze. Mm -hmm. Let him deal with it. Mm -hmm. It was when people realized and say, hey, listen, look, you need to feel how people feel when everybody's coming at you. You know what I realized something else, too? Like, remember when I explained to you, like, it's our job? 
Mm-hmm. Like, you know how we bring up the shit when people say, like, I'm a, like, devil worshiper or anything? You be scaring me. But how's the music? Because <laughs> it'll be a mother... Fuck the music, nigga. Don't promote that, gang. The fucker that be like, Uzi, get with God. And then I'll drop a song and like, damn. And it's just like, yeah. Like, like, why are y'all even bringing up religion? Religion is just like, why are you bringing, like, we don't, like, what they say, don't bring up religion, a woman's age or politics. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, no, why I are you it. even bringing, like, like, I don't like, like, it's, like, that's what I'm saying, it's your job. So if you was to put out a fucking report of me getting in trouble with the cops or me doing something or me getting sued I felt the times you hated me. And I'm like, yo, no. damn, I love him, but, like, shit, I gotta do this. But he probably be like, yo, damn, this fuck nigga. But I do know... This times we communicate, I hate, and like, like, I, like, I, like, we don't be a synergy. Well, I, went, like, I, I hated good. you, but I hated you because, like, I you got to start off with yourself. Like, anybody that I ever, like, had a problem with or anything, I cause, you can't have a problem with a person for no reason. It's always a cause and an effect, right? So anything that I did, it had to be a cause. So it's like, okay, so if I did something, you covered the story. I shouldn't have fucking did it. Because for real, for real, you would cover a fucking story of me getting in trouble. And then three days later, Uzi just dropped the song. It's the biggest song. So it's just like, it's not personal. Nothing's personal. Nothing's personal. If you take shit personal. There's some shit that's personal in this world because it's deeper than like rap. But with me, the rap game is my safe haven. So anything that I have, yes. The rap game is my safe haven. I'm from Philadelphia. I know you're from Philly. But it's the reason I talk how I talk. It's the reason I act how I act. It's the reason I look how I look. Because I'm really from, like, don't get me wrong, people from everywhere. Right? But I'm from Philadelphia. And it's crazy out there. And everyone knows it's crazy out there. It's crazy it is out crazy out there. not the only place in, in America. Hey, but it's crazy out there. Let's be and clear. Philly right now is the... It's the highest... Yeah. It's, the, it's, it's the world. craziest murder rate in the United so, States. So you think I want to go there? I want to say this for you. No, no. I really want to have a full conversation with you, man. We can. You want to hear some music? No, that, that's what I'm trying to say because I'm here to hear the music. <clears throat> I know. Because <laughs> honestly, even hearing everything you have going on, mm-hmm. man, I got so much opinions about it. Mm-hmm. Just like, like, bro, e- even when you say say what you just said, I'm mm-hmm. like, when did Act get a Cardi? Did you see Act with a Cardi? It just throws, it's just throwing me off. Like, I'm proud of him, though. Shit, <clears throat> dog. I was supposed to go to that, uh, uh, which I, I didn't. I didn't get to go to the funeral, but I know you were there mm-hmm. when it came to the X. Yeah, I went. I Juice took my, died. I took, I took my homies there. Juice died, bro. Do Do you realize that when it comes to like people who love music and shit like that, like mm-hmm. my nigga, like. Raj, thank you for the sub. You representing you being X-Men here. Boys, sub, mm-hmm. I subscribe to the stream. It's, it's, it's more than just music. It's surreal. Yeah, I mean that's what life is. Eh? It's just life. No, man. I I I get it, but 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 but, but it's like. You know what I always tell everybody some real quick shit. This some real quick shit. Every story that you didn't cover, every fucking accomplishment you did in your life, you're probably like the most successful person for your family. Me too. Yeah, hundred percent. Me too. I'm telling you, me too. It used to be my cousin. My cousin got like these crazy doctor's degrees and shit. And, like that's still important though because that takes a lot. But and my little sister. My little sister is very important in my family too. My real little sister, like my blood little sister. Like she's like important. Like she's like. I didn't even know Uzi had a sister. What the fuck? What's that shit called? Like a fucking like. I don't know where she is. She like one of them, them Kappa motherfuckers and shit. She do all that shit. Like, and I ain't downplaying it. It's like some shit I never could do in my life. Like, she's like studying in school. She graduated. Up, she's going back to get like her. Like, my sister is like the smart one of the family. But like, it's life, bro. Like, we, I make all these songs. You do all these covers. Just imagine if the world blew up tomorrow. Nothing is on record because we're the only people that's like, it's not like, like, okay, we, we believe in what we believe in, but it's like, technically, like, bro, is it, like, I'm not saying it's not that now. I'm not saying it's not like that now, because come on, bro, like, like, 
I know it's like some mother shit, but bro, if the world blew up today, we're we not not on the world. This should be over with. Like it's like it's, it's nothing record. Everything that we record, she's recording right now. Everything that's recorded is disintegrated, gone, and this shit would start <laughs> over. Like that's why I always what tell people, like we know about all this music, right? From like <clears throat> YouTube and all these records and shit, but. What about all the great artists that we never found out about that got lost? Mm. I always say that. Like, it's probably like, bro, you know what I mean? Songs, that's like the greatest songs in history that probably already was made and that shit got lost. Like, the greatest songs ever. Like, come on, bro. You're right. You're right. Like, ain't, there, ain't that many drugs in the world that make these motherfuckers make these great-ass songs that have been out in our history. Like, come on, bro. It's so much shit that's, like, not recorded. It's so many great people that's, like, not set in stone or on wax that like just disintegrated in time. It was the greatest motherfuckers in the world. Like that shit could happen. It's like no one knows nothing. Like we just here at the end of the day. That's why I think people cherish you. We just here. Let me tell you this. You know, man, I can't even mention I mean like X was a nigga who I used to talk to every day. Can I say something about him? Real quick, something like oh, of course. I ain't gonna lie. You know, him and Kodak is kind of the same. You know why? Tell me. Because I'm <laughs> I really pay attention to all this shit. Kind of the same. Tell me. They like, they like, they like make different music and they cut from different clubs. But they the type nigga, right? That don't even need a mic. They can record a song on their phone and it's so raw and so natural. They don't need all the shit that we need. They so raw and so natural that they just good. Like that's yeah. why that's why X was so good. Like he was so good. <clears throat> it's so many songs that niggas don't know that he didn't even record in a studio on a mic. Yeah. He like just record on his phone. Yeah. And it's like he was they good. That's how Kodak is. They good. Like they just like they're raw talent. Something about Florida has that. It's something <laughs> about like Florida. That's like true. it's something about that that they just so raw. Like they can just do anything, like and not anything in the sense of like it don't make sense, but they can like work with what they got. And they just so good. That's how it is, though. I don't know why. I, I, Yo, I study everybody. They so good. There's a moment that I used to think about you. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, man, we lost X. We lost Juice. Mm -hmm. You thought I was going to die? <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm, 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 hold on. You want me to be honest? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Like, I, I was looking at shit, and I'm like, bro. If, yeah, if, if we lose that. Uzi, I'm a, like, like I, I think people like me who who genuinely love you, your mm. fans, right? I don't know. I, 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 don't, know. I, I don't have a, I don't have an answer for that. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> because anything can happen. But the reason I don't have an answer for that because I don't know what it feel like to like die. Like I don't know. Like, anything can happen, bro. Like, God forbid, like, I always say that too, motherfuckers. I always say so much shit, but I always say God forbid, God forbid. every day. I could mm -hmm. be walking down the street and anything can happen. A motherfucker throw a penny off the highest building in the world and motherfucker, it go through my head. Like, anything can happen. Like, <laughs> I don't know nothing. Anything can happen. <laughs> like, as long as I did what I did so far. I did more than <laughs> what I ever thought I did. So, they, then them guys, they did more than everything, anything they ever thought they did. So, like, I understand. They journey probably was already like, like, that's why I look at it. Like, their journey was probably already, like, fulfilled. And in order for their journey to be, like, as great as it was, maybe it was their time. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. But maybe it was their time. Because maybe they would have kept making music and it would have tarnished their creativity. Yeah. You never know. Because we just judge them off of what's here. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Wow. No, you're right. 